welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for the show all right look you have a special energy that cannot be moved it can't <laughs> it can't and people be really trying to take you there like people be trying to move you people be really trying to tap into your energy because they feel it because they see it they they see you they see you when you're in their presence and they recognize that you are different so they want to steal your energy they want a piece of it they want to see if they can taint it they want to see if they can move you but it don't be working and they're confused they are so confused about it because when they see you you don't really look average but sometimes you may look average like you really be standing out for real for real so they trying to figure out like why you're not moving like everyone else in a room full of 50 people why are you the one who stands out so they want to try to get your attention you find people trying to small talk with you but clearly like, you can tell that they ain't on your level and they know that you're not on their level. Like, they, they recognize this, but they trying to figure out what it is about you that makes you different. So they want to move you. They want to they wanna see if they're tripping, if they're maybe reading the, the energy wrong, if they're reading the room wrong. They want to prove to themselves that, no, you're just like everybody else. Like, you're not who you're portraying yourself to be. This is what people want to do. They want to pull that up out of you. They want to see, they want you to show that you are about that life. Just like, <laughs> they are about that life. Like, you may find people doing silly stuff. Like, people not liking you. People turning their nose up at you for no reason. They want to move you. They want to see you turn up. They want to prove to themselves that you're just like everybody else, that you're just like them. That is all a facade. Like, this is why you find certain people asking certain questions. And, and just watch the way when you respond, watch the way that these people react to, your, to the questions that they ask when you answer it. Like, they, they look at you as not human. So when they asking you these questions, they want to see your humanly response. Like they want to know that you mess up too. They want to know that you're not perfect too. Because they they see you as perfect. Like you understand that you got flaws. You understand that you mess up. You understand that you like you can have an attitude. Like you you not like that. But this is how other people see you. So they're itching. They're itching to see that other side of you. But for a lot of us, we have put in that work. We have put in that inner work that a lot of stuff just don't move us no more like it used to. Like the days where you used to turn up, the days where you used to like be really about that life, <laughs> you just ain't about that life no more. And you're a work in progress. Some stuff still may move you. Like you still may be spiritual as hell and hood as I don't know what. Like you still may be. But not everything is going to move you. So you find people trying to move you, trying to steal your energy, trying to get your attention. You got some people who just really want to be your friend. But they know that they're not on your level. But they just still want to see. Like, they want to see if they can come to your level. But it's hard. It's hard for them. They trying. They, they climbing, they climbing, but they keep falling. So this is why you got people trying to bring you down to their level. They recognize that they can't get to your, your level. So they want to bring you down to their level because they want to be in your energy. It feels good. It looks good. Shoot, you look good. <laughs> you look good. They want to be around you. They want you to look at them. They want you to talk to them. People really be wanting your energy. They really be trying to move you. They want you to get out your hookup. A lot of people think that you're quiet. 
But no, you just ain't got nothing to say to them. Like, them ain't your peoples. You recognize them. But they want you to talk to them. They want you to be who they are. Because usually, people who look like you or people who are from where you from, people with the background as you, like, y'all usually can relate. Y'all usually are the same. But they don't recognize that you different. <laughs> and they don't recognize that you chosen. Like, they don't recognize that the energy that they feel radiating off of you, it ain't like everybody else. But they, they do recognize that. This is why they want to get in it. Because for a lot of people, they want to see how they can show up like that too. They want to see how they can glow like that too. Like They want to see how they can radiate that energy too. But they can't. They can't. If it ain't if it ain't them, if it ain't their destiny, if it ain't meant for them, like they can't. They can't steal your energy. You got some people trying to steal your energy and use it for themselves. You got some people really trying to get you out your hookup. They want to see that you're not high and you're not all uh <laughs> you're not all high and mighty. Like you're portraying yourself to be. Not knowing that you're not forcing anything. You're just being who you are at the core. Like you've connected with your higher self. Like you've connected with the source. You don't have to fake anything. You don't have to pretend to be high and mighty. You don't have to like none of that. You ain't got to do all of that. But this is what people don't recognize. So when they try to get you out your hookup and it don't work, now they're pissed that it don't work. They're confused. They're confused because anybody else they have done that with, people have folded. You're not folding for people. You're not living for people. You living for you. You doing stuff for you. You moving for you. Like you can be in a room full of people and literally tune everybody out. Like you're the only one there. People don't like that. People want your attention. They want you to acknowledge them. Because they see the way that people are acknowledging you. They see the way people are looking at you. Shoot, they see the way that they looking at you. And the way that they feel about you. They want you to feel that way about them back. They want you to feel that way about them too. They want people to feel that way about them too. But if it don't naturally or organically happen. Then what do you do? Like what do they do? They want your attention. They want your validation. You got some people out here wanting your validation. They want you to confirm that they're okay person too. Not knowing that you had to confirm it for yourself. You had to tell yourself that you was cool, that you was good. That you was all that. Like You recognize that nobody could tell you about you. That if you didn't feel it for yourself, then it really didn't mean anything. You got some people out here looking for your validation. You got some people wanting to steal your energy. But that's yours. And it's sacred. So whenever you find yourself in a situation where you're not doing something, you're not getting moved, you're not entertaining things, because you want to protect your energy, recognize that you're doing the right thing. Just know that you're on the right path. No matter how it looks, because it don't look good to the outside person. People will call you selfish. People will say that you're wrong. And it really doesn't matter. Because you're not. You're not. At the end of the day, we have to take care of ourselves first. <laughs> we got to be there for ourselves first. We got to show up for us first. We have to have our inner peace first before we can give out to the world. Before we can be there for the world. And if we can't be content in that then other people ain't got nothing coming. And you recognize that certain things lower your vibration. Certain things bring your energy levels down. So you don't entertain it. And that's okay. That's okay. So if this video resonate, if this video hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That's all I got for this video. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually handsome. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.